Hi, it's John Wanoi here. Good on, money. Hey, I got a call from I got a call from Willie Painter this morning. Hi. He's been hijacking my hui in Auckland. What? They, he said, oh, he was telling me, oh, you can have the top floor because the group's coming down from Ngāpui to take the bottom floor. And and he said you can have it for for Friday and they're, they're going to take it for Saturday. I said, hang on, I made arrangements for this, Marai. I don't want anybody else there. Yeah, he had, I got upset. I got upset with him. And I said to him, they're hijacking it. Yeah, that's... I had a feeling he has jumped on the other side. Yeah, he has jumped on the other side and yeah. he's, he's... I said to him, well, put it this way, will you? I'll have to cancel the whole bloody job. You can have the boom in my eye and I'll have it on another day because you've come right across the top of me and I'm not happy. And I said, you'll get nothing out of me and nothing out yeah, of it. You're going to get nothing out of it. And then, holy hell, half an hour later, he rings me back and says, oh, they changed their mind. They're gonna, uh, they're, they're gonna leave you. I said, Willie, I arranged with uh, Hakadai, Paula Hak Hakadai, and it's fixed in writing. I've got it in writing and confirmed. I said, how can you get somebody else? This Annette. He said to me to ring Annette because he's made arrangements with her with the Marae. I said, hang on, I'll be told by who I, who who takes the bookings. There, it's not Annette. And I said, no, I had an understanding and I've got it in writing from her confirmed. And he, he came right across the top with, a, with another, another group coming down from, from up north to go on and take the Marae. Oh, man, I'm not happy about that guy because he's... No, no, don't, don't bother coming up, my uh, 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 He's hijacking everything now. He's, he's hijacking everything now. I tell Bundy I'm not coming up now because... I, I got upset over what he just told me this morning. He, he says, oh, he's, he's got the marae for the other group and they, they need it for Saturday. I said, <laughs> and, and so I, I, I rang, I rang um, um, Paula uh, Hagaraya yeah. and I said to her, look, can you tell me what's going on? And she said, oh, she'll, she'll give me the rundown tonight. And she couldn't do it on the road. See, I'm in the agency to go and ring her to tell her there's somebody else taking my place. And so she's not very happy by the sounds of it. She texts me back and says, look, she'll let me know the arrangements tonight on, on the Marae for me, not for anybody else. Because I've been waiting for her for, for confirmation how much it costs. And, and because Willie said he'll take over, it's a koha. You see the bloody slap happy things they do? The slap happy... Uh, uh, arrangements that are clouding over me. I'm always organised with, with Marae and everything's always done way before they come along and just run right across the top of me. Yeah, so so uh, not 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 very good look from, from him. So And then Thing rang me and we had a long talk, Koko, and she said, watch out for them, you know, and, and she said, she'll come down when I have a meeting with my new managers. And, and uh, so she, she'd been talking to uh, Cecile, the ones that will take over the business for me here in Auckland. And so she said she can come down, but I'll, 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 I'll make arrangements for her to stay here while, while we're having our meeting. She can... Yeah, look. we're still carrying on our date, Master. Uh, what's, what's that? I don't know. What date? We're still carrying on on the same date. Yeah, and, the 29th of uh, February. Two hours, two hours hearing. Yeah, and all the rest is our one on For us, not for anybody else coming with something else. I wanted to explain how things work, and uh, we could have had just a Friday, but I'm only thinking yeah. of people coming to stay overnight and then go back the next day. And we'll see, we'll, we'll look at the cost of what she's going to give me tonight, because she wanted to know before how many people yeah. are coming. And, uh, but uh, I, 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 I haven't got a, uh, an answer back from her until now. And this, right. with Willie saying it's not going to cost us anything, I won't take, I won't go that, that way because he had other ideas about bringing some other people in to take the marae and have us a little bit. He said, oh, you can have your hui up the top, we'll take the bottom. But I think they just came coming there to go and grab all our stuff while we're having... I said, no, Willie, this is not about anybody else. This is business. 
to Britain, nothing else. I don't want any other That's Satan. Huh? That's Satan trying to... to yeah, trying, yeah, he's the Satan, bloody hell. And I don't want them to, to upset me right at the crucial time when I'm setting up yeah. all this and it's taken 20 years to get this far. For them to just pop in like that out of nowhere and think that, that they can just jump in over something that's been arranged. We'll look at the, we'll, we'll, we'll see what um, Paula has, Paula Hakarai has uh, in the way of cost and then I'll look at that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll see. I'll, we'll see. Yeah, so, so, uh, um, that's, the, you know, I can, I can, we, we can get around that. It's, yeah, it's, it's just that it's I need, it's paramount yeah, that we carry on now. Yeah, yeah, I needed a place to, to sit there all night talking about how we plan yeah, right. to go from that and how we, uh, that's what I want to have all the time and the next day to sit and have a nice breakfast together and go over right. things before you go home so that we'll clear in our mind the business in Auckland we're setting up. Sorry. Not about anybody else coming with another agenda and, and then no, sneak no. in, sneak in, pull the things out and put it in theirs and run away with it. Yeah. And that's what it looked like it was going to be. Yeah. Yes. I, I think Bundy is brassed with him because he told me no, Bundy. Oh, yeah. he, he told I'm me sure not to come up. Too, yeah. yeah that, that was Bundy rang me last night and told me not to come up. Don't go there. He doesn't even trust Bono and, cause, and Danny because they didn't give him any, any details of what they, they're doing with, the, with, the, with, the, with those rifles. With those guns, and he didn't. He didn't even let us go and see it. He was all for. Right. It was all Poro, Danny, and the other guy, the other guy uh, oh, right. Tamahini. It was just about them, and and they left us out. They actually deliberately left us out. But Bundy said to me, "Don't bother about the 21 gun suits because of Danny's bullshit." Danny says, "I can have it when I come up to the to the hui up there." He said, "Well, I don't want to go up there, but." I haven't got those, the, the videos that Tommy Henry gave me won't open. They, they won't open. I saw them on his phone, I, I saw it, and then I put it down in my thing, it wouldn't open. I, I took it up the experts up the road, and they can't open it either. So, <laughs> for those 21 gun salutes. So, I'm just going to tell Danny to send it in the mail before I, I say I'm not coming up to the hoodie. Yeah. I'll be there until you pull us. Yeah, no, we we focus on ours because there's more issues yeah. than ours, and we and, yes. and and there's more going for for what we do, and we just leave them we leave them stewing in that marae over there, and we carry on and take the land. I'm, I'm, I've already got the documents to take the land underneath the underneath the marae, yeah. the titi marae, and that's all. That's what Kingi I was going to do, but he's gone and run on the other side too. <laughs> he's like, he's like run away thinking he can do it with, with his signature on there without telling me what he's doing. He's he's in, he's in mixed up with the New Zealand wars with the government. That's why he's been going to Wellington. He's not ringing me up or anything because my daughter tells me. She tells me, oh, Kingy's gone down to Wellington. And I said, yeah, I know what he's going there for, to help them pinch the flag. They're not going to pinch this flag. They're not going to pinch this flag because it's, it's all online now. Everybody's looking at the mistress. Uh, and, and, and they can see the mischief coming out of those fellows. See? Yeah, but, but that's what I rang you that's what I rang for. I won't be going because it will be a waste of my time and um, all that stuff with Georgie and that um, is fine, but um, we, we, we don't worry about that. They, they worry about that's not our department. Yeah, and that, that fellow over in America and uh, Canada, they're waiting, eh? Yeah, yeah, they're waiting. But yeah. At the end of the day, they don't have the title. We've got it. That we've got the yeah. Maori title with this whakapapa of of mohis, and right. and the Freemasons will clear them out, mate. You watch this. Right. That the, they right. won't let anybody go near these documents because right. the documents, all the legal documents of the world, comes under the Freemasons, the, the Scottish rights, and we just make a deal with them because they did all the hard work to make all those documents. Right. Work, you see, we just stick with the magistrate court in Edinburgh. That's where they work. The Holy Grail is over there underneath the St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh and our, our, our documents stack up. They stack up. They stack up. We're just, we're just stick on our way, let them go, let, no, no, don't let them have nothing. We just look after the other poor people who come and join us and leave them there. Leave them there to, 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 to support what they do. That's, I've come to the conclusion that is the first time in over 20 years I've been locked out of that marae. First time, first time. I always got it because I got on with Peter Apiata. I always got on with Kingi Taurua 
and now King is off the top of it. Those other idiots are there running it, and that's what's wrong. Oh. So, so there's no need to go in that money anymore. We just do, uh, we just do by documents now and land titles, and that's the end of them. Yes. Yeah. We just do it ourselves and yeah. rely on our. Yeah, because because yes. at at the end of the day, you're you're here for Mohi and, and those Freemasons. They 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 were constructing the the Te Waikato's title to keep it going. And we're, we're keeping it going because there's nobody else, the Freemasons won't listen to anybody else. They'll only listen to us. That mean, meaning you and my, myself. Bundy's okay because he'll look after the Tahitians and the Tahitians and, and, and the Cook Islands and, and Napui. So, so, yeah, Napui, because that's, that's in the, 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 that side. And the, the Maui is, is in that lot as well. So the, the Maui on that side and Tahiti, Tahiti so Bundy look after that. And you look after the, the Moriori contract, okay? That's the contract. That's the first contract um, for all the indigenous native lands. So, so that who we have in Auckland is very important because my 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 manager, the new 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 lady, the new lady is. She said, "Yes, I've sorted all your website out. Yes, I I can do it for you. She'll come on Tuesday and she'll show me how she does it." And she said. She doesn't need to change the website, she'll just pick it up and make it work. Oh. So she'll take over all that, she'll take over the management of Cook Street, she'll take over all that management and get the hire the staff in once we get in, 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 in once the, the lawyer go and, and get it, and then she'll jump straight into office. She'll run the whole place, the whole business as, as, as experience. Awesome. Experience and so that takes a big load off my head. I don't have to. Oh, yeah. I don't have to do that anymore. And then Jamie, my mate, will be um, a student on the herd, learning and uh, and uh, help uh, to to get a career going inside that. Yep, she can hire and fire all the staff after that, and the wages and the That's salaries right. and everything. And awesome. it, it leaves me free with you fellows. Awesome. All, all my all my time and effort will be with you guys. Uh, to make sure uh, we get our legal side right with Britain and and uh, and and the monarchy, uh, but that's you're you're the most important one on 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 that Te Rawakato title um, uh, that I'm holding the Faka Papa with my Faka Papa with us in it. Okay, and the, uh, the, uh, we, we won't tell them that way, but we know we we, we know it's separate. To, to, yeah, it's our business. business. That's why I'm keeping it separate. I keep I keep your 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 stuff separate from Bundy and and Hiruini. They're okay because the on the face of it they can see they, they can see we 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 are forming things here. Bundy's got a big job to blend in the hapus back into where they were, and and and, and, and you uh, he can he can force the law. Me and you make the law and alter. But he's gonna he's gonna make uh, uh, frame new laws. That's a big job. They're already here. All you have to do is implement them, implement them, and I'll, I'll, I'll shorten shorten them up on, on on which which things to to use that the British will go for. If, if we have to what, follow the British, and I'll uh, and I'll modify it so that the British are working in deal with us, deal federal state government. We're running a federal state government, and let let Georgia and them run their state government. See, that their, their state government comes under the federal has has the monarchy, Britain title of this flag over the federal U U.S., over all the other federals, this flag, when we got our organisation in Auckland, will supersede all the other federal uh, state laws under the Admiralty. So that, that's how it works, uh, money. You know, but I think you're, 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 you're right on track. I won't go um, now that um, Woody has upset me. Um, and, and, um, but, yeah, no, when he said there's other people coming down to take me, I said, Willie, this was prearranged. He said, "No, he's he's sorting the Maria, even though he's a Catholic, but he doesn't he, he doesn't know Maria protocol. You have to, you have to book the Maria, and it sticks in a letter by letter. You don't just say, oh, 'Oh, we're going to take it, you know, and tell me at the last minute.' No, no, no. We've got letters writing going back and forth, and the agenda's on Facebook. That's all confirmed. And I said it's already advertised for those days, and I'm not changing it." You're changing all my, my agenda when people are, people are coming to stay overnight to listen to something and learn. And then you are bringing your people down here 
to, to come for what? That's nothing to do with us. See? So I'm better now. I, I feel better. My doctor, I, I went to my nurse, take my heart monitoring uh, stuff to check, and they're, 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 they're right on. The, the Chinese ones matched up to the arm ones that you blow up, the thing, and, and the other one for the finger, and that. And yes. they, they match up. And, yeah, and, awesome. and then she, she gave me some guy and she oh. said she said she has to write me off uh, because I've stopped taking my medication. I said, no, I only take it now and again. But uh, I said, I'll come and see you. Rather than you come and see me, I'll come to your office because that's where I went. I went to her office to take this gear. And she said to come up anyway, to come there because she, know, she can't come and see me unless I'm taking my medication. And, yeah. and, and so, uh, although the reading's a bit high, I said I can handle it. Uh, but I went to my doctor, I went to my doctor to get a referral to go get a scan on my head. And you know what he said? No. He said, no. And he, I said, yeah, this is a government department that for 60 year old, over 60, sent me the letter that we are the ones that are suspected of heart failure. And you're telling me, no, I want a scan on my head because I've been telling you the problems in my head, not in my heart. They've cleared my heart and the arteries of high blood pressure and swelling uh, of arteries and they said there's nothing wrong down there. And it's, 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 uh, I said, now that leaves the place where I've been trying to tell you for, for, for a long time. And you, and you tell me, no, what do I get for my $17 come to see you? What do I get for my $17? He said, well, here, I'll write your medication. I said, I've been doing pretty well with that. I'd rather die by myself than you die, make me die with that stuff. See? Yeah? So, I said, you know, you've been feeding me with this stuff, it's no better. The problem is still there with high blood pressure over here. This is where it is, not down there. You were going to put a, a stent in me, you was going to put a, a monitor, a heart pacemaker in me, and there's nothing wrong there. It just proves they're liars. They're lying and, and make me take pills to, to make me sick. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, so uh, I've got to take the letter back from the uh, uh, place in New Lynn. Uh, where I went to have a total scan on the stomach, and that's f you, they send you a letter. You should have got a letter uh, to have a free test of your uh, heart and arteries to see that, make sure they're not swelling. And I'll, I'll 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 take that letter to them and get yeah I'll take that the letter so I can get a referral to go and get a scan on my head and I'll find the problem straight away. That's what the Mr. Keith here said. Coco. She said, oh, you got some mice in there. So I told my nurse, oh, there's some mice in there. I said, can you, can you tell the doctor I want some medication for mice? <laughs> and the mice in there. So, so uh, I'll take the letter up and see if I can get a referral. Otherwise, it's, uh, you know, I'll just carry on the way I am and keep an eye on my, my, my heart. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll just have the button off. But that's all my money. I won't be going up. I'll carry on because I've got enough to do. I've got plenty to do. I've got my mate in in, uh, in America sending me all more stuff on where the gold is and everything. Daryl Payne, his sight went off and I got worried. I thought they might have naptured him, but he's okay. He's back on again. I see you there online. Well, you'll see everything rattling out on, on Facebook now. So it, it, it's got an audience watching something quite true come out and these fellows have been left with the egg on their face before long for locking us out of the Malai. Uh, but there are people in Canada, they're all waiting for us to, to, to see Cook Street and um, I'm pretty confident that uh, we'll, we'll end up with it and go from there. But it's pre-planned, everything's in, in place, we don't have anything to worry about. They're the ones that will be worried. Okay? Can, yeah, can you, uh, if you uh, do me a favour, if you see Gerard or Jimmy? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, 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 I know where he lives, so I'll go around there. Yeah, I've got no car. Hey? Come with his raw food. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know oh, he'll be he'll be handy because he's got the brain to do yeah. to do all that stuff and keep them in line. Oh, yeah. uh, so he's he's in the financial game, so he knows how that works and, and oh, funding thanks. funding yeah. and all that. But he he he's good at at what he does. Um, yeah. What did you want him to do? Yeah, I will. I will. I'll, I'll get in touch with him because I've got his emails and everything here, and and I'll, I'll get him to to uh, to call you, and um, and if he can call me and and write to me 
then uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go from there. I know he'll be all right. He'll be, he'll be right on. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll Have just... Have a nice day, my yeah. And you too. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's money. I had to ring him up to let him know just what's happening in my lifetime here with all the mischief going on. We're going to snap them. Anybody get in my way, like my doctor, you get a trillion pounds on your head. If he doesn't get me a referral to fix my problem up that he's ignoring, malpractice. Medical malpractice and medical genocide for selling drugs to kill me. Uh, I'm going to have it out with him. I'm going to have it out with him because I told him it's hurting over here for a long time and he's saying my heart's the problem. There's nothing wrong with my heart. I push 200 kgs on my legs and lift weights and run around the gym and swim in the pool and there's nothing wrong with my heart. And they've proved that the frequency of my heart is beating properly. Spot on. The problem is up here. I've been trying to tell that fucking bloody Indian and he just says, take some more medication. You jam your medication up your ass, you bugger. I'm going to go and whack it to you and strip you. You, put you out of business and your, your, your medication throw the bloody things away go back to our own we'll use our own okay uh, so uh, and your poisons um, um, statins statins kills the brain you know, we're going to jam that down your bloody throat you doctors you can have your statins in your throat and jam you up with all your vaccinations stick it in your ass that's what I say. I'm so pissed off with those people. I, I want them off this land. I want the Paramount Chiefs to boot them. Boot them. Boot the Queen and all her bastard bloody crown Maori iwi trustees off the fucking land because of what locking us out on the gate at Waitangi. Locked us out. That's the first time I say to Mangahi, first time I've ever been locked out, you fucking mongrels. Hummer, you got no brain in your bloody head. Just Booze and drugs, that's all you live on. You tie you up and throw you up in the bloody tide for bait. That's all you're worth. Nothing. No brain. Don't know how to run anything. Just sit there and fuck a puppet to nothing. You can stick your bloody mother out there and put a bloody match to it. It's useless. You've got no car.